Hey my boys here and welcome to a pneumatic rock preview. In this preview I'll explain a logistics system I've been working on lately. And this system is heavily based on Factorio's logistic, logistics system. If you haven't checked it out, uh, there's a Wikipedia link in the description. Now the goal of this system is to well, transport items. And to do so you're going to use a logistic drone. Uh, yes, again a drone. But this is a lower tier drone. Uh, if you look at the recipe, the PCB has been replaced by redstone. And because it's lower tier, it's also more limiting in what it can do. And the limitations will be apparent if you uh, well, watch this video. So, the system, if you don't know Victorio that well. You've basically got four frames, four different frames, which you can put on any inventory. Uh, it can be chests or um, applied in logistics uh, ME interfaces or furnaces or whatever and they each have their own way of interacting with a logistics network and network consists of all different inventories uh, with a frame around it so you've got an active provider frame a passive provider frame a storage frame and a requester frame um, let's just check out what the logics, uh, the uh, active provider frame does. So you can just right click any inventory with a, uh, with a frame. Uh, let's maybe go to survival to see, uh, to, to make it more clear on what happens. And let's put a storage frame right there. Now let's put down a storage, uh, a uh, logistics drone. And let's put something in this chest. You'll notice that after a second the logistics drone will grab the items and put them in the storage uh, chest. So the active provider frames, uh, frame actively provides items to the network. A storage frame basically acts as a buffer. It will accept any item that's being provided and it will supply any item to a requester frame. So a requester frame uh, can be used to request items to a inventory and you can change uh, which items are being requested by right clicking it with a logistics configurator that's one way to do it so for example we want to keep five diamonds requested so let's do that and the logistics drone should and grab five diamonds and put them in there. There we go. And also we grab every diamond and put it in there. You notice that it will grab five diamonds out of the chest and put them in the requester frame and afterwards it will grab the remaining items and put them in the storage frame. Now there is a different way of setting this filter. You can also right click well with a frame item in your hand and this interface opens up and you can either put them in like I did uh, a minute ago or you could shift click to put in items and middle click to delete it or you can do all kinds of stuff you can do You can do different things, and uh, more info about that is in this info tab. Or you could right click a slot, which open up this search uh, inventory in which you could do something like diamond. And now it's in there and you can adjust the account right like this. And then after you've configured it, you could right click on the inventory and it will take on that configuration. Now a different frame we can put on, so a active provider frame provides items to storage frames and requester frames. Now we could change that up, we grab the diamonds and we delete it and we put on a passive provider frame and put in the diamonds. You notice it will again take 5 diamonds from that chest and put it in the requesting chest, but it won't do anything after that. It will keep the items in this chest until it's being requested. And it won't put the items in the storage, cha storage chest. So that's the passive part about it. 
Now you can also filter what's being provided and what's being stored by doing the same thing. We can right click with a uh, configurator in our hand. So we could say we only want to provide call or whatever. Or um, whoop. Or we could, for example, use these uh, storage frames as um, chests that are being sorted in. So you can use this as a sorting system. These are your sorted chests. So you could configure it to... Uh, let's do ORs. We could say... This one can only have gold ore, and this one can only have iron ore. Take the diamonds out. Uh, let's grab some items, put them right in there. And maybe let's change it up to an active provider frame. And we should see that the uh, drone will come and grab the items and put them in the appropriate chest. And now we can maybe do something like that and now it will keep the chest supplied with the items we want and the chest only holds the items we want it to have so let's put this, this is what we learned into use we've got this setup and basically this is our input chest with all kinds of items We've got a processing area, so we basically want to process our iron ore and gold ore into here. And then we want to sort the items into these chests. And notice by the way that I've alternated trap chests and chests to not make them connect. And then there's a default chest to put in items um, we don't know how to sort. These are empty still. So let's try it. First of all, let's make sure that this drone isn't going to interfere with anything we are about to set up. And let's also remove these frames so that the drones we are going to put down in the setup here uh, aren't going to be interfacing with these inventories. So these are a few limitations that they can interfere with each other. Um, so let's put on an active provider chest, uh, uh, active provider frame I should say. So that provides the items in this chest. And then let's make the furnaces request the items. But before I put it on, let's configure it first to keep gold and iron and keep five of both. And then with this configuration, we can right click and all three should have the same configuration. You can confirm that by looking at the uh, Wayla 2 tip. Now I've hooked up some hoppers already and that's because you can only put it one frame on an inventory at a time. That's another uh, limitation. So for the exporting items, the ingots that come out of it, we want to export through uh, another mean, by another means and we're going to use hoppers for now. So we're going to put a active provider frame again to export the ingots that come out of here. And those ingots and the, uh, these items, oops, um, we want to route into here. So let's put down some storage frames and let's configure them. So ingots, we can do iron and gold we want to do gems so we can do uh, diamonds and stone um, let's look it up stone and dirt and a default chest we're going to leave empty and that's this basically should be it now if you place down the logistic drone You'll notice that it will take a bit before it will run. That's another limitation. It, it will take its time to calculate which uh, action to take. And another uh, thing you know, you might notice is that the default chest is 
further away from any other storage chest. And that's because that's the only way to do a default location. The default chest should always be the further, furthest uh, location, furthest uh, inventory. Because the uh, AI of the logistic system looks for closest inventory first. So because one drone isn't doing uh, it as fast as we want it to, let's put it down some more drones. And in a few seconds, there we go, they will grab all the items we want. You also notice that ores are ending up in this chest, and that's because uh, not all ores are requested by the furnaces. So, and because this chest is actively providing the ores, and this one isn't a uh, storage frame which allows the ores to be in there, these ores are ending up in there. Apart from that, it's looking quite good. I am seeing uh, these few ingots in there, which shouldn't be in there, uh, but that's a uh, bug to sort out. But apart from that, it's looking good. So I'm looking forward to seeing some builds using this. And thank you all for watching, see you all next time, and bye bye!